Welcome to Aerobics Oz Style. Today we have a Pilates workout for you and we're working out in the Royal Botanical Gardens in Sydney. It's absolutely beautiful here. You must come down. Now let's begin by lying down on our backs. And separate your feet to so the ankles, the knees, the hips are in line. Now in that position, completely relax. Now your eyes to close and visualize every vertebra in your spine gently melting down towards the ground. In that relaxed position, take your awareness to your pelvis and start to rock it forwards and backwards. Gently warming up the muscles of your lower back and pelvis. And now relax the pelvis, settling it into a position between the tuck and the arch. We call that neutral. Place your hands in your pelvis and just notice how the two hip bones and the pubic bone are all lying on the same plane. Now holding that just as it is. Relax your hands down by your side. And now take your awareness to your spine. Notice how the tailbone gently rests down on the ground. And as you journey up, there's a natural arc in the lower back. Then your rib cage is relaxed and gently resting. There's a natural arc through the back of the neck. And lastly, the back of the head gently resting. Allow your chin to drop down towards your throat, lengthening through your neck. And there you have the neutral spine. Now maintain the spine and the pelvis as it is. Place your hands on the side of the ribs and still keeping your eyes closed, explore your breathing. By taking a deep breath in, the back of your lungs, the side of your ribs and the abdominals. And as you breathe out, notice how there's a natural drop in the rib cage and of your abdominals. Try that again, breathe and expand as wide as you can. Breathing out through your mouth, feel the natural drop of the ribs and the tummy underneath your fingers. And again, deep breath and expand. This time as you breathe out, allow your ribs to drop and draw your navel down into your spine. Tighten your abdominals, keeping the pelvis very still. And let that go, breathe and expand. And breathing out through your mouth, allow your ribs to drop and draw your navel down into your spine, tighten those abdominals, keeping the pelvis very still. And now for your Pilates breathing, slip one hand down to the belly, keep the other on the ribs. Take a breath in, keeping the belly firm. And breathe out, still keep the belly firm. And just notice how the breath is shorter now, breathing in to the back of the lungs, the side of the ribs, keeping the belly firm. And breathing out. Now gently open your eyes, relaxing. That's your Pilates breathing, and I'd like you to think about that throughout the rest of your workout today. Place your hands down by your side, take a breath in, and as you breathe out, roll the spine all the way up. Take a breath in as the hips and knees reach one long line all the way down through the spine. And then as you breathe in, relax the pelvis. And roll up again. That's on a breath out. You take a breath in at the top, one long line. And then you breathe out, roll the spine all the way down. Release the pelvis as you breathe in, still keeping the navel to the spine. And flatten the back, lift and roll all the way up. Now holding that position, take a breath in. As you breathe out, roll down the spine towards the back and roll all the way up. And now roll down the spine towards the front, the fleshy side of the back. And roll all the way up, we call this the pelvic block and then you roll all the way down. So you're imagining that three and nine o'clock is the side and you've got six and 12 as the beginning. Now breathe out, rolling all the way out. Hold the hips nice and high. Hold that position, navel the spine, breathing in. Now this time, as you breathe out, roll down the front side of the back, the fleshy side, until it touches, then you roll all the way back up. Another side, rolling down the fleshy part of the back and then rolling all the way up, mobilizing the spine and now all the way down. Bring the knees and feet together, place the hands in the belly, keep the navel to the spine, lift your heels, lift your toes, draw the knees up to tabletop, keep pulling down, navel into spine. To tabletop position, 90 degrees at the hip and at the knee. Hands out to chest level, take a Pilates breath in. As you breathe out, take the knees towards the front. As you breathe in, bring the knees back to your centre position and breathing out, knees to the back, anchor that front shoulder and shoulder blade. That facilitates the stretch behind your ribs all the way over. Use the tummy muscles, draw it back. And again, other way, breathing out, anchor that front shoulder blade. Coming all the way back. 
And now hands on the belly again. Chest as you take the feet down. They keep that navel in very, very firmly. It wants to pop up. Don't let it. And now hands behind the head. Into some more abdominals. Lengthen through your neck. Curl forward, drawing the ribs towards your hips. Hold that position nice and high and then slowly all the way back. Make sure the tailbone stays down and this winds up our warm-ups. After the break, we'll be back with some more abdominals. We'll see you soon. You'll need to have a towel with you for this next section. Lie down on your side and the towel goes between the neck and shoulder. So the head lies up on the same plane with the rest of the neck and the chest. Now further down the spine, let's think of that neutral spine. Lift the ribs and waist up. Now if you're visualising, switch your internal mirror on. And all along your back, one up line just like the horizon. Keep that waist firm. Hand goes down, shoulders pressing down towards the hip. And off we go. As you breathe out, you lift, breathe in lower, and breathe out too, breathe in lower. Breathe out, reach those legs away from the hips, breathe in lower. Now notice how nothing moves underneath my waist, and breathe in lower. Breathe out four, breathe in lower, breathe out five. Now if you'd like to make it harder, lift that hand up into the air. Breathe out six, but make sure you press the shoulder down towards the hip. Breathe out seven, and down. Breathe out eight, and down. Once again, nothing's happening underneath that waist. And down, one more. Breathe out 10, and down. Now, using that strength, and the muscles that we just worked on firing up, place your elbow directly underneath the shoulder. Place the legs out to the side. Keep the front hand down and now lift all the way up onto the elbow and now coming down. Think of one long line going all the way down through the body. And you come up. This is a modification or an easier version of what we call the side bend. The real thing's done up on the wrist. So if you'd like to try it here, feel free to come up into this position. But we'll be doing it down the elbow today. Now at the back I've got Taryn and Taryn's going to be doing a more modified version if it's inappropriate for you to be on your shoulders. And come all the way up again. Now here we go, something a little harder. Slide the front foot along the underneath knee. Take the leg forward. Bend it to the knee. Take it back. And all the time you keep that body completely still. You'll feel the underneath waist working. And the lats as well, your back wings. And together. And forward, and together. Back. Now let's try the underneath leg. Bring it up, take it forward, in. It's really hard to go back. Trying to keep it all still. Under, forward, in, and it's very small to the back. In, keep that waist up. Bring it in, very small to the back. Relax, we'll do the other side. Placing the towel between the neck and shoulder. Lift the underneath waist. Breathe out. Breathing in through the nose. Breathe out too. Breathing in through the nose. Once again, nothing's moving underneath that waist at all. Down, and again, four. The hips are stacked, breathe out five. And you can have the feet a little bit in front of the hips, six to protect the lower back. And breathe out seven. Top shoulder away from the ear. Breathe out eight. Breathing in two more, then onto the harder ones, nine. But remember, you can stay down here, just like Taryn's doing. Okay, now coming up onto your elbow underneath the shoulder, stack the feet, keep his front hand down so it can assist you, and lift up, hold, and down. Breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you lower. Breathe out three, 
breathing in, breathe out four, hold that position, slide the leg up, forward, keep your underneath hip lifted, take it back and bring it in, and again, three, and down. Now remember, you can make it harder by going up onto your wrist, four, much, much harder. That's for the men in the audience, five. Set yourself that extra challenge. Good. Now, put that leg down, underneath leg up. One. Now, really feeling like those waist muscles are working, and also the lats. Stretch it back. Bring it in. Forwards. Keep that hip right up for me. And back. Bring it in. One more. Out. Bring it back. Stretch it way. And then come in. And now we need to stretch out those muscles you've just been working. Using the mermaid exercise, very traditional exercise in Pilates. The hands come up to the side, coming down onto the right elbow. Lifting the waist all the way up, stretching out the left side of the body. And coming all the way up. And then opening up the right side of your body. And that should feel just fantastic after that last series. It was a hard one. That winds up the abdominals after the break. We're coming back with some legs. We'll see you soon. It's such a pleasure for us to be working out all the time with the beautiful surroundings around us. Sometimes the beach, sometimes the lake, but today we're lucky enough to be at the Royal Botanical Gardens of Sydney. It's absolutely beautiful down here. Now coming down onto your sides, we're going to be doing the legs. Onto your elbow, just like we did for the last one, but once again, Taryn is going to be using her towel, and that's just for those of you who feel it's a little too difficult on the shoulder to hold it up. Bend the knees in. I'd like the ankles in line with the hips. And now straighten the top leg out, flex the foot, put the toe down, lift. Two. Now lift the underneath waist up. Three. Four. Breathe out five. Breathe in six. Seven. Now think of one long line that goes from the tailbone all the way up. Keep going. And 12. And 13. And 14 and 15, and 16, and now little circles, taking it forward, lift one, breathe in two, no hips moving, three, breathe in four, breathe out five, remember that long line, six, breathe out seven, breathe in eight, other way, one, now the tips do not move two, keep the waist lifted, three, push into that elbow, Breathe out five, breathe in six, breathe in seven, and eight, knees together. Clam up, place the hand behind the hip. And three, breathe in four, breathe out five. Now once again, check the underneath waist, six. Is it doing that? Seven, lift it up, eight. Foot lifted, one, two, Three. These butt muscles should be burning by now. And again, five. But if they're not, it's because you're letting the hip move. Two more. Seven. Eight. Other side. Remember placing a towel underneath the neck and shoulder. It's a little too hard for you. Heel goes up. Push into the elbow. One. Two. Breathe out three. Breathe in four. Now notice my hip here. It does not move. Five. Breathe in six, breathe out seven, breathe in eight, another eight of these. One, breathe in two, keep the navel to the spine, three, four. Imagine you've got a pair of jeans on that are a size too small. We've all been there. Now get ready for circles. Circle up, breathe out. Breathing in, you have to think harder now about keeping that hip still. The circles make it more difficult. Two more. And have the head in line with the rest of the spine. Other way. Breathing out. 
Breathing in. Breathe out three. Breathe in four. Breathe out five. Breathe in six. Get ready for the clams. Two more of these. Straight into clams. Now remember, keep those hips still. Breathe out. Breathe in. Push into that elbow. Three. Breathe in four. Breathe out five. Breathe in six. Breathe out seven. And eight. Keep the foot lifted. And one. Two. Breathe out three. And in four. That should be burning. And five. And six. And seven. Oh, here we got the background. And uh, oh, fantastic. <laughs> and coming up. We've had a ball today with all the people coming in. We've even had firemen on the show today. Now coming up, let's stretch the muscles out that we've been working. And I've got Mia sitting on top of a towel, and that's just for those of you who find it difficult to sit up completely straight. Now stretching out the muscles you've just been working, draw the shoulders back long through the spine. Go as far as you can with a straight back, and then just take yourself that little bit further, draping yourself over the thighs. Now, if you're not feeling the stretch there, it just means that your hips are quite flexible. You need to try something a little bit harder. The important thing is that you get your stretch. If you do have the stretch, there's no need to take it on to another level. And if you need to make it even stronger than that, we've got a third version. Making sure if you try this version, that the hips are centered. And again, same principle, reaching forward long back, but draping yourself over if you'd like to make that a little bit longer through the spine. Okay, let's do the whole thing on the other side. So the first stretch we did was the ankles crossed. Walking the spine forward, straight line, chin dropped and relaxed. Visualize one line that goes from the tailbone all the way through to the crown of the head. And now drape yourself over further, so the spine as long as possible. So you're coming up. Remember, you can make it harder by crossing the ankle over like so. The important thing is just to find the stretch for yourself in the glutes. Stay there. Stretching out the muscles we've just been working. And that winds up the leg section for the day. After the break, we'll be returning with the cool downs. We'll see you soon. finish off with the show today, we've got a little bit of fun for you. It's called Rolling Like a Ball and we're going to add a little, a few little twists into it to massage the spine even more and that's the focus of the exercise. Now what you do is you bring the toes up, up off the ground. Beginners, you're welcome to have the hands underneath the thighs and that allows you some freedom of movement with the legs. More advanced people, hold on to the ankles and pull them in as close as you can, the chest and the bottom and that makes your abdominals work even harder. And simply enjoy this one. As you breathe in, you roll back onto the shoulder blades in. And out. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you will feel a little bit like a dill. But once you've done it a couple of times, it just feels divine. Now, you're going to take the knees over to the right. Roll down the right side of the back. And up. Roll down the right side of the back. And up. And down the right side. Feet out towards the left, right side. So remember we did the pelvic clock at the very beginning of the workout today. So this is just taking it that little step further for you. Roll back and roll up. Two more of these. And then we'll add in some stretches. Roll back. Now one forward, one side into a stretch. Breathe in, roll back. Roll up. Knees right. Breathe in, roll back. Place the knees down, hand on the thighs, spiral the spine all the way, look to the back foot and come up to the front. We'll start that one again. Now, if you've enjoyed the show today, you can buy many of our videos from and DVDs from all major department stores. You can also visit our website on www.aerobicsoldstyle.com.au and into your spiral. Look to that back foot and coming all the way centre. And it's one of each of the roll. Rolling back, rolling up, 
rolling back. And now a very quick spiral. Sweep and fold the front leg. Sit up tall. Pitch the spine forward. Sit up tall. Curve the spine. Recover. And now we go again. Roll back, massage in the spine. Roll up, swing knees left. Scoop the abdominals out, place the knees down. And now faster spiral, then sweep and fold the front leg. Sit up tall, pitch the spine forward. And coming up, curve the spine. Coming up, and let's add that again. Building on the sequence, roll back. Rolling up, find that point of balance. Side, roll back. Find your point of balance. Hands down, stretch into the spiral. Now sweep and fold that front leg. Sit tall. Pitch forward. And up. And curve. And up. Straighten left leg, right leg together. And we go again. And this is all we've got time for today. I hope you've enjoyed the workout. We certainly have and we'll see you again soon.